In this video, we're going to look at phase diagrams. Here's a phase diagram for water. Now there's a lot going on here, so let's, let's just break this down how we would any other graph. Let's establish what we're dealing with first. It's water, and on the x-axis is temperature in degrees C, and on the y-axis is pressure measured in atmospheres. Now you can see that we have ice, water, and water vapor. So essentially we have solid, liquid, and gas. So really, all this phase diagram is going to tell us is the temperature and pressure at which water exists as either an ice, a water, or a water vapor. That's all. Uh, so let's, I don't know, let's pick a point. Let's say at 50 degrees, that's somewhere around here, and a pressure of one atmosphere. So go to 50 and go up till we hit one atmosphere. Yeah, and it looks like water uh, would be a liquid in this case. What about water at, I don't know, maybe 150 degrees? That's about right here, maybe. 150 degrees and one atmosphere. Well, 150 degrees and one atmosphere, that's right here. So it looks like at that temperature and pressure, we're dealing with water as a gas. Now what about if we go to 100 degrees C and one atmosphere? Well, we're right on the line here. We're on the line that's between liquid and gas. It turns out anywhere along this line. So any temperature and pressure along this line, water is going to be boiling and condensing. In fact, the water will exist in equilibrium between both the liquid phase and the gas phase. Uh, similarly, over here, this line represents equilibrium between the solid and the liquid phase. You probably notice this point right here called the triple point. The triple point is where all three phases of matter exist in equilibrium together, solid, liquid, and gas. So triple point um, will have a temperature and a pressure. Let's see what that is. Well, the triple point is 0 0.01 degrees C, so it's just above the normal freezing point for water. And you can see that the pressure of the triple point is very, very small. It's just the smallest fraction of one atmosphere. That's six thousandths of an atmosphere. So the triple point for water occurs at a very low temperature, about zero degrees, and an extremely low pressure. There's also something called the critical point. Notice the critical point also has a temperature and a pressure. We'll come back to the critical point later. So triple point is the temperature and pressure at which all three phases exist in equilibrium. Now, if you have the time, um, it'll be worth your while to watch this video on YouTube. Um, it's a triple point demonstration. Supercritical fluid. That's the type of fluid, it's like a gas liquid almost, and, and it takes place at the critical point that we mentioned before. It's a phase of matter that exists when the temperature and pressure are greater than the critical point. The liquid and gas phase are no longer distinct. In fact, it has properties of both a liquid and a gas. Here's a picture of carbon dioxide. Here's carbon dioxide liquid. And here's carbon dioxide gas. And what we're going to do in each successive picture is going to increase the temperature and pressure. So you can see that the line is not as distinct as what it once was over here. And in fact, the line continues to blur until we get to this temperature and pressure called the critical point. And at the critical point, um, what exists is this supercritical fluid. Uh, it turns out that this supercritical fluid has properties um, similar to a gas and properties similar to a liquid. So I know that it's used for a variety of purposes. I don't know too much about it, um, but I do know that supercritical carbon dioxide um, is used in the decaffeination of coffee beans.